Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will be looking at your love reading for the month of August 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, we will see your past, present and future energies. Okay, so uh, we will see what kind of past energies you were getting in terms of your love life. Uh, and with the same situation, we will see your present as well as in your future energies. Okay, so let's get started for your reading for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign, August 2023. What's coming up? And as you all know that this is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see. Okay, at the back of the deck, we have the Hermit. I see that the overall energy is referring to something, some pause. It's referring to a pause, a break you have taken from a person. A breakup could also have happened in your, in your overall energy and that's why you are taking that pause. You are recovering from that breakup. You are really finding uh, your own path. You are finding, uh, you know, you are wanting to find peace or you are really re recovering from your breakup. So it could be possible anything. In your past, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords and Nine of Swords. So it was like a happy, healthy family in the past. Could have been married, could not have been married. It's not uh, necessary. But uh, strong marriage energies are coming. So maybe you were happily together. It was not just, you know, a family who needs to be together. But you both were also happy together. And even if you were not married, you always felt that you have been married and you are like a husband and wife and you are really enjoying the time with each other all right so it was like a happy stability energy which is coming up stable energy is coming up but something happened maybe there was a third party situation or maybe there was some confusion coming up in your person's head where a lot of or could be you so that's why you know a lot of um, questions was started to come in someone's mind like uh, whether you should be together or not like that in the present, we have the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, and uh, we have the Four of Cups. So, I feel that uh, this is a strong energy where uh, it tells that, you know, there was, there was communication. But somehow, even if it was in the present as well, even if you both are talking for some of you, one whenever one person starts to talk the other person starts to fight you know always angry always irritated frustrated and you know it it and then even then you know it brings a lot of toxicity in someone's head that even if you later you know that person comes back and talk to you you, you kind of you know feel like you know uh, feeling rejecting them or feeling like you know i don't want to really talk to you now now so this is that energy in the coming future we have six of cups everything is fine energy and the three of swords i feel that it is uh, not it's not going to it's not going to be very easy okay the path the journey which you both are really going in you know in front of you it's not easy it's it's tough and the struggles are there but if you are ready to really fight and you know overcome everything you can but you know somehow you have to understand that you cannot just fight always with each other just like that let me clarify some uh, cards for you let me see why the hermit energy is here in the overall energy for the month of august 2023 for my aquarius we have the queen of wands and we have the moon Strong Virgo, Pisces and Leo energy could be dealing with the one. So right now many thoughts are coming up. You might want to go back to your person or uh, you just like, you know, sometimes you feel like going back and talking to them uh, in a very positive manner. But sometimes you, see, you feel that, you know, it's better to be alone and, you know, be at peace than again and again talking and you know making things so bad for each other so that's why i feel that somewhere one of you two maybe you more 
you know you want peace and you are not indulging in fights so much so that's why you are talking less than usual but your person is feeling that you are not talking to them that you have already broken up with them so this is that misunderstanding which is getting created so in the past why the nine of swords is here wheel of fortune and five of swords so yeah a lot of toxicity came up but again you know it could have become more toxic but the luck was on your side and somewhere you know things were bad but it were not they were not worse it could have gone like very very worse for anyone but the luck was in your side the positive energies are there around you the universe has your back aquarius so it was like you know things didn't go bad or go from bad to worse so that's why wow all right uh, why the ace of swords is here and why the four of cups is here for ace of swords the lovers again the same energy when a person wants to talk to the other person you know and you don't want to clarify everything with each other uh, clarify with each other in terms of you know like let's be positive let's just talk let's just try to resolve our issue but the other person always start to fight always see some uh, motive uh, some uh, some mm, negative energy from the other person like you know that the other person is coming with a motive a very strong bad motive so this is a very uh, strong energy where uh, one of you your your person over here is thinking that you know you have a bad motive towards them you have you are bad towards them your energies have become very uh, negative for them so yeah let's see coming future six of cups everything is fine and three of swords why these three cards are here i need three cards okay so your, the weight and the patience can change a lot of things in your love life with your partner with your person uh, so this is that weight that uh, that patience the cards are quite kind kind of telling us that you know if you if you wait for your person or if you just be silent everything can become fine like before maybe there is some kind of frustration within both of you and you both are or some other situation okay it it it, it is possible that the frustration is not for each other but maybe uh, coming up from something else and they are you know you both are really uh putting it out on each other so that's why a little patience a little silence is required in your love life right now okay because you both are going to you know feel nostalgic after some time and uh, you know that feeling of being together that happiness when you both were together you know the time the kind of things you do together so this is something which you both are really going to miss a lot and that's why the hope of coming back is still there but not too soon you should really give time for your to yourself and to your relationship to them as well okay so this is the advice from the universe which is coming up for you all right so that's all from my side aquarius i hope this helps and we will meet you in the next video till then bye